Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Wednesday, October 21st. Coming up today, ADP issues its third quarter workforce vitality report. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew and other economic officials take part in a conference on prosperity hosted by the Center for American Progress. And the bankrupt unit of Caesars Entertainment ask a judge for more time for its restructuring. Well, we're off to the races. Ferrari will start trading at the New York Stock Exchange today under the ticker symbol race. It priced shares of $52 a share. That's at the top end of the range, a sign of strength of its brand, especially in what's been a tough environment for IPOs this year. It will raise at least $893 million in that IPO today. But Yahoo reported disappointing third quarter financial results and said it would soon begin to use Google to power some of its search results and advertising. The first area to take a hit was Yahoo's video programming, the company which has invested heavily in original web content such as the community series said it was taking a $42 million write-off in the third quarter on the value of its original shows. Both revenue and profits fell below Wall Street's consensus estimates, sending the company's shares down in after-hours trading. And Chipotle's profit missed as sales growth slowed. Competition from other fast casual restaurants has intensified and fast food giants increasingly have emulated Chipotle's message. Now, sales at restaurants opened more than 12 months, grew 2.6 percent, that's according to Chipotle, but that's slightly did beat the 2.4 percent increase that analysts had expected, but it was far below the almost 20 percent growth that Chipotle posted in the same period a year ago. That is a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.